There is a celestial beacon that has captivated the attention of explorers, sailors, and dreamers for millennia among the vastness of the night sky, among the numerous sparkling stars and far-off galaxies. The North Star, or Polaris, is this unbroken and steady beacon of light. However, there have been some recent reports indicating that our guiding light in the night sky is experiencing an unusual occurrence. What, then, is the cause of the latest buzz? We'll examine the findings of the researchers. Prepare to go on an enthralling cosmic voyage with us to the North Star and see what astronomers are currently saying about the odd and mysterious events occurring at Polaris. Logo, the 48th brightest star in the night sky of Earth is Polaris, sometimes referred to as Alpha Ursi Minoris or simply Alpha Michigan. It is a reasonably bright star with a somewhat yellowish tint. Because of its proximity to the celestial North Pole, it has been possible for explorers and sailors to determine the true North, which is essential for setting courses and traveling across seas and unexplored regions. Polaris' near-perfect alignment with the Earth's rotational axis gives the impression that it is stationary in the night sky. Consider an imaginary line that extends from the North Pole to the South Pole as the Earth's axis. Because of its proximity to this line, Polaris in the northern celestial hemisphere is almost stationary. It appears to be motionless due to its alignment, while the other stars appear to be around it. A slow, progressive wobble known as axial precession is experienced by the Earth instead of rotating on its axis like a perfect top. Gravitational interactions with the Sun and Moon are the reason for this swaying motion. The Earth's axis follows a circular trajectory over a period of 26,000 years, resembling the gradual rotation of an unsteady spinning top. The Earth's axis shifts in alignment with the background stars during axial precession. One of the many effects of this phenomenon is that the North Star's position shifts over extended periods of time. Because of the Earth's wobble, Polaris is currently our North Star, but in 13,000 years, Vega, another star, will assume this position. Over a very long period of time, the location of the Earth's North Pole in the sky also gradually shifts. This movement is known to scientists as stellar precession. About the time the Egyptians constructed the pyramids, in 3000 BC, a dim star in the constellation Draco with the name Thuban served as the North Star. Polaris did not become the North Star until roughly 500 AD. It will gradually approach the Earth's North Pole until it is right above it in the year 2102, at which point it will begin to move away once more. It won't pass as the closest star to the North Pole until 300 AD. By this point, some of you may be wondering, well, how do I find the North Star? That all depends on where you live on Earth, though, as certain locations are unable to see it. After spending some time on our channel, you've undoubtedly become familiar with constellations, which are collections of stars in the night sky that have the appearance of real-world things or legendary characters. In order to wow your friends and family, we're going to teach you how to identify a few of these constellations and, in turn, where the North Star is. The North Star can be located in two different ways. Finding the Big Dipper constellation is the first step in the process. This constellation is made up of seven brilliant stars that have a ladle or scoop-like shape. Finding it in the night sky is actually rather simple, and most stargazers can recognize it right away. Find the two stars, which some astronomers and stargazers refer to as pointer stars, near the end of the cup-shaped bowl that is opposite the handle of the Big Dipper. Polaris is indicated by Merak and Dubhi, these stars. Now, note how far apart these two stars are, and imagine a line that extends five times that distance outward from Merak via Dubhi. You ought to be able to see a reasonably brilliant star sparkling in the night sky above you if you completed this correctly. If you're still unsure if what you've seen is the North Star, try looking to the left of the star you think you saw to see if you can spot the Little Dipper constellation. The Little Dipper's handle is composed of three stars that extend from the Dipper's base, with Polaris situated at its terminus. We are aware that some of you may be thinking that finding the Little Dipper would be just as simple as finding the North Star, however, occasionally it can be considerably more difficult to spot this constellation than the Big Dipper. Remember that the Little Dipper will appear to you as the Big Dipper's mirror image, or upside down. You've just located Polaris, the North Star, if your findings are confirmed. Congratulations! Now, some of you might not be able to see the North Star because it is invisible in some parts of the planet. Polaris appears lower in the sky as one travels south of the equator, eventually disappearing beyond the horizon. Since Polaris is directly on the equator's horizon, it is invisible there. It is completely impossible to see Polaris in the southern hemisphere. Many people are unaware of this, yet there is something incredibly fascinating about the North Star that you cannot see without a telescope. 
In reality, Polaris is a component of a large star system. Polaris A, the main star, is a supergiant that has a diameter of over 28 million miles, 45 million kilometers, and a mass 4.5 times that of our Sun. This star, which is the closest of its kind to Earth at roughly 445.5 light years away, is known to astronomers as a Cepheid variable. A Cepheid variable is a kind of radially pulsating star that fluctuates in diameter, temperature, and brightness. In astronomy, it is often referred to as a standard candle. Since Polaris is the brightest star in the triple star system, it is easily visible to the unaided eye due to its magnitude. Polaris B and Polaris Ab are the names of its two smaller cousins. The distance between Polaris B and Polaris Ab, two main sequence stars, and the parent star is approximately 2,400 astronomical units for Polaris B and 18,000 astronomical units for Polaris Ab. Therefore, a good telescope will be necessary for you to see them. Regarding the North Star, there are some quite remarkable photographs of Polaris. The primary X-ray telescope operated by NASA, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, produced this picture. And the imagery it produced was amazing. Now, if we begin to zoom out on this picture, the surroundings of the North Star become incredibly detailed. You are witnessing an integrated flux nebula, which is primarily made up of dust particles, hydrogen, and carbon monoxide, among other elements, rather than earthly clouds. Furthermore, this picture allows us to see the nebula that seems to encircle Polaris even more clearly. The unexpected part is that, despite appearing to be surrounding Polaris, it is actually behind the star and distant from the galactic plane. This is an intriguing development. Not just one star, but the energy from the combined flux of all the stars in the Milky Way shines on these integrated flux nebula. How awesome is that? Now that you possess a Destiny Master's degree focused on Polaris, the North Star, let's examine the recent significant news that has astronomers talking. It is said that there is a weird phenomenon involving the North Star since scientists are having difficulty precisely determining Polaris's distance from Earth. It turns out that the North Star is incredibly challenging to study, consistently defies astronomers' ideas of how stars should behave, and its actual distance from us is really unknown. Astrophysicists can determine the mass, age, and distance of stars in the universe, including Polaris, in a few different ways. Among these approaches is the Stellar Evolution Model. This allows researchers to examine a star's brightness, color, and pulsation rate in order to determine the star's size, brightness, and stage of life. Once that is all determined, scientists will be able to determine the star's distance from Earth. Because the pulsation rate of Cepheid variable stars, such as our North Star, is precisely proportional to their brightness, this approach is particularly accurate in determining their distance from us. As helium in the star's atmosphere absorbs energy, Polaris physically becomes bigger and smaller, which causes variations in the star's brightness when it pulses. Obviously, a star becomes brighter as it gets larger and gets dimmer as it gets smaller. Danish astronomer Edgner Hertzsprung, pronounced INAR Hertzsprung, made the initial discovery of Polaris fluctuating nature back in 1911. Since then, observations of Polaris have revealed that the star has consistently had a four-day pulse period. However, this has started to shift recently, and astronomers are now unsure of the reason behind this. This is where things get weird. Up until 2010, the pulse periods had been increasing by 4 to 5 seconds per year for almost 150 years. Nobody is completely clear why this tendency reversed, but it did for some reason. Given that Polaris B cycles around the star every 30 years, it is possible that the companion star's orbits are what are producing the fluctuation. This could be because the disturbance is occurring in the outer layers of the Cepheid, which is where the pulsations occur. However, another bizarre theory has been proposed by astronomers, suggesting that Polaris may have originally consisted of two stars that collided millions of years ago. A star could be rejuvenated by such a cosmic collision by attracting additional material and giving the impression that it passed through a fountain of youth. The issue with this, though, is that theories of stellar evolution do not account for binary star collisions like the one that has been proposed. A convective dynamo, which is the motion of highly charged particles inside stars, is what creates their magnetic fields. Sunspots and solar flares are two examples of how our sun's strong magnetic fields are seen. However, until recently, no magnetic field has ever been detected from a Cepheid star. Researchers at Kingston, Canada's Queen's University, found that Polaris will possess an extraordinary magnetic field in 2022. 
As a stellar magnetic field pulls on charged particles in the star's atmosphere, it could explain the strange pulsations and have an effect on the star's long-term evolution. Numerous diverse processes can be attributed to a star's magnetic field, including modifications to the star's internal structure, stellar winds, and rotation speed. Still, not much is understood about how magnetic fields affect Cepheid stars. For starters, because of the pulsating nature of this kind of star, magnetic fields are extremely difficult to detect around it. According to researchers, comprehending Polaris magnetic field will enable them to solve some of the universe's riddles. We'll see what happens, but we think that's a rather strong remark. As the star rotates across our field of vision, the discovery team is analyzing the data and attempting to map the star's magnetic field by making as many observations as possible. Who knows what new discoveries they will make regarding our North Star? It appears that our understanding of the universe is growing progressively poorer. Having said that, be sure to check back here so that you are the first to learn about any exciting new discoveries made in our cosmos. Please remember to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It truly benefits us and allows us to keep producing amazing material for you. We appreciate each and every one of you sticking with us and watching all the way through. Until we see you again, keep your sights on the stars.